Hi everyone, today we're going to discuss another controversial topic. Is S work empowering? And if you think that I'm going to give you one-sided opinion, that's clearly a wrong place. Because I always try to look at things from different angles, yeah, and to see it from different perspectives. And, well, this is what we are going to do today, to look at this topic from different perspectives, yeah, and we will try to answer the question if S work, I hate to say it as work, empowering or not. Yeah, so at first we have to define what is S work, because there can be so many things that can be called S work nowadays, yeah? It's not just sex for money, it's not only escort nowadays, especially online, and offline as well. Yeah, if we take some BDSM session, this is also as work. If we take online sphere, yeah, that's just enormous, enormous types of as work, yeah, from webcam to findom. And if we compare, for example, someone who does financial domination, yeah, and uh, it, Please don't perceive it as if I'm uh, trying to talk about myself, yeah, that I do fin dom and I compare myself to other women. This is not about that. But if we take someone who works online, yeah, without undressing themselves and someone who does escort, these are completely different things. Yes, they refer to the same type. That's both is as work. But when you do this, the amount of effort that you put into it, yeah, like, w it's a big difference to do something online and to actually meet someone in person. And for different women, again, the amount of effort, what I'm talking about, yeah, it's not necessarily that uh, online is easier than offline. For some women, and I'm mostly going to talk about women, yeah, because men don't really get bashed for doing S work. Yeah, somehow. Somehow women are always responsible for everything, yeah? So I'm going to talk about women, first of all. And one more thing I wanted to mention that I'm not going to discuss things like human trafficking, yeah? I'm only talking about consensual as work. So for some women, meeting a man offline could be much easier than working online. And I know lots of these women are the same in this perspective yeah for me that's easier it depends also it depends like on what i do if i talk about some kind of mental dominance yes it's also easier for me to do it offline in person yeah when you can see the person sorry for the tautology uh anyway but if we speak about uh escorts yeah from my perspective since this is something I wouldn't do yeah and it doesn't mean that it's bad this is something I wouldn't do and I can only have mm, thoughts about it I can only imagine how I would feel in some certain circumstances yeah that maybe from my perspective it could be like oh maybe online it's easier than offline yeah but again it all depends on woman's perspective and how she feels about that and when we talk about as work there are two extremes yeah negative attitude obviously and positive attitude negative attitude comes uh if, if we see the groups of people yeah who who bash women for doing ass work this would be conservatives this would be red pill both men and women if we take red pill men you will see a lot of this stuff online. Yeah, they bash women and they make women responsible for the downfall of society. And this is interesting because they are no different from, well, any religion and any other man throughout the history that have been blaming women and everything. Yeah, it's no different from the Middle Ages when you burned the witch, yeah, because she seduced everyone. Yeah, she seduced you. She, it means that she put a spell on you. And nowadays they compare uh, women to drug dealers. They don't want to address the source of this issue. They don't want to address men who consume porn. They want to put all responsibility on women. 
Why don't you make videos bashing and shaming men who consume this content? Why is it everything towards women? Women do this because it's beneficial for them. Yeah, they turned, well, instead of receiving sexual harassment, they basically monetize sexual harassment. They put a talking on it. They put a talking for sexual attention, for any kind of attention. And this is what they did. And since, um, well, it's profitable because so many men are into that. That's why they exist. That's why they do what they do. It's not that complicated. Yeah, another group of people who who are anti s work are radical feminists. And I already said it in many videos that I respect radical feminists or radical feminism. However, I do not consider myself a radical feminist, even if lots of you think that I'm a turf, which is a radical feminist. Well, I'm not, for your surprise. I can see that radical feminists are against s work because they try to protect women. They don't want women to be seen as sex objects. They don't want women to be consumed. They don't want to, women to be seen as like pieces of meat. And this is like the main reason behind this everything, behind all these theories yeah, against S work to put all the responsibility on men. And this is what I respect because uh, I'm connected to some radical feminists, yeah, especially online. I'm kind of like in between, yeah. I talk to lots of S workers and also I, I follow a bunch of radical feminists. I don't really stop on one category of people, yeah. I can see the things that I agree with and the things that I disagree with. Anyway, putting all responsibility on men, I think, I mean, this is kind of good, yeah, for especially when it comes to uh, stuff offline. But when I see radical feminists, yeah, like raging about S work, they always say that, well, they see a woman who does S work as a victim of the circumstances, yeah, as if it's always someone who, who has no choice, right? And, but from my observations, that's not necessarily true. Of course, there are lots of cases and I live in the country where the sex industry is huge. People come here specifically for that. They're mostly, well, old white men and also Arabs. Yeah, this is the majority of consumers of S work here. Um, and when they take a young Asian woman, well, a young Asian woman, yeah, like, I don't know, from 18 to like 25, she would look like a teenager for him because an average white woman wouldn't look the same right she would look older because asians they they are smaller in general and they age slower than white people anyway i have a theory that they come here to satisfy their pedo inclinations and when i arrived here i was shocked I was shocked, not because I'm against ass work, I'm against the circumstances that women are in, yeah, the general, like the average income, and that they, these are often like their families who encourage them to take this type of path. Well, and also I'm against low prices. I don't think that sex is supposed to be that cheap because here you can buy sex for like $30. What is that? Like, they don't see you as a human. If you can buy another human for an hour or two for $30, can you see them as a human being, as an individual, with their wants, with their needs? I doubt that. And yeah, it's also about the payment. That's also about the price, because the more it costs, the more valuable it becomes. It's not supposed to be cheap, this type of stuff. And if you ask a radical feminist, yeah, what is S work? She would imagine the woman who does it because she's forced, uh, because she has no choice, yeah, and who does, mm, well, some kind of explicit stuff or in person. And there is no discernment. There is no line. But don't you forget that financial domination is also a type of S work, yeah. And if we think about the category of people who approve 
yeah, who see us work as empowering, that it's something good. This would be mostly the liberal side, uh, of course. I think that still there are lots of people who have this misconception about, uh, well, OF, as if it's some kind of ethical porn you pay directly to the creators instead of, um, well, some websites, yeah. Um, and again, they might be right at something. However, the average income on OF is like $150 because the market is oversaturated. It, it's just like too many people go there. It's too many people. It's just, it, it's nonstop. And women, in order to get any subscribers, they push their own limits. If you talk to OF women, yeah, some of them are individual creators. Some of them work for some kind of marketing agency. And usually this would be the dude. It's a guy who tells them what to do. Why I don't find it so liberating and empowering, yeah, this type of scenario is because you keep doing what men want. And again, for some women, that's fine because they're here just to earn money. And if it suits them, that's okay. I just personally don't like the fact that this is like a buffet for men. Whatever you want, you can find it online for a very cheap price. You can find whatever as a man. I, as a woman, cannot find what I like. I cannot find adult movies that I like. Again, I don't want you to see this video as something when I'm trying to tell people what to do. I don't understand how and like an individual creator can tell other people what to do. I'm just expressing my own opinion and my own thoughts, my own perception. And I'm not always politically correct. I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to be, well, just observant. Just telling you what I see about different things in the world yeah that are connected to what we usually discuss on this channel anyway i have fantasies about some kind of like schools like sex schools where women would be doing something educational i think that sex work is supposed to be educational and this is again not me telling others what to do i have to emphasize it all the time i can't believe i have to do that but anyway uh I imagine some kind of school or it's like maybe it's like a religious institution where women just teach this man who come to them, you know, and pay money to learn how to satisfy a woman. This type of sex work would be empowering. I imagine that if I was doing some kind of like escort, yeah, I would be probably teaching this man how to satisfy me. Yeah. So I just do it verbally. I just speak about psychosexuality, but I'm not saying that everyone is supposed to be like me, obviously. If we speak just about escort, um, there can be some issues, obviously. And I'm not talking just about dangerous men that you can encounter. I'm talking about the drug and alcohol issues, because how are you supposed to be entertaining and fun all the time? Anyway, to answer the question, is S work empowering or not? The answer lies within a woman and within like how she feels about it, how she perceives what she does, what kind of thoughts and feelings does she have about it? Is she taking her shadow for a walk? Yeah. Is she exploring her sexuality? Is she, well, the, maybe she just wants to see that she is beautiful in the eyes of Man, maybe she never experienced that before or much of it. There can be different reasons. And obviously people or women don't come to us work only for good reasons. To me, that's the only criteria. How do you feel about it? In my personal opinion, yeah, how I feel about it, that any kind of S work is supposed to be based on what you like is supposed to be based on your own sexual preferences. I don't think that uh, this type of work is for young girls. I understand that for most men, this will change everything because they prefer like mostly younger women. Yeah. And they don't think that older women are supposed to be in this industry. I mean, unless it's a kink, 
Uh, but in my opinion, this would be women who you can't damage because the younger you are, the more risky it becomes. Yeah, the more effect it has on your mental health. And this is another issue for us workers. Um, because th you might do things you will probably regret about if you are young. If you do, especially if you do something explicit, you don't know how it's going to affect you. And I'm not going to be like, oh, yes, this is the fault of other people. So what? Yeah, they're supposed to be tolerant to what you do. They're not supposed to bash women for that. But we don't live in perfect world, okay? We live in the world we live in. And I think that's quite liberating to understand that no one owes you anything. And only you, it's only you who's responsible for your own choices. And if in the future, like, I mean, if you're young and if you do some kind of explicit ass work, it's better if you do it somehow, like, <laughs> in disguise. Yeah, when you don't really show your face or you change your appearance somehow, yeah, with the wig and uh, contacts. I mean, I've met girls who do it and we talked about it because you don't know what's going to happen. And that's why I'm saying that this type of work should be done by a woman when she tried some other paths, when she tried something else, yeah, when she has education, when, and I'm not just talking about the degree, yeah, education, like a general term, when she has some life experience, when she knows what she is, what she likes, when, and okay, sometimes it doesn't depend on age, but we are talking about like the average outcome and when you tried some other type of jobs when you are not forced to do that when you don't feel like that it's the only choice as work can be empowering if you embody what you are through what you do if you understand why you do this if you enjoy everything you do yeah of course there are things because just like any work, you don't necessarily enjoy, I don't know, dealing with some sort of people or replying emails. The joyful, the pleasant moments are supposed to prevail, are supposed to be bigger than some kind of inconveniences, yeah? But if it makes you depressed, please reconsider your choice. That's pretty much it for today. And I think that the next video is going to be me answering to your questions. So I will post a story on Instagram where you can ask your questions in the box or you can leave a comment right on here and I will answer your questions. Also, please share your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about S work? Is it empowering or not? Is it diminishing? Is it downfall of the society? Who is to blame? <laughs> okay, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.